What's up? It's your man, Dr. Will, and you know the deal. Let me know what city, what state, what country you are chiming in from. Even if you're watching the replay, let me know what city, what state, what country you are chiming in from. I'm here in the beautiful city of Phoenix, Arizona. On this beautiful Monday morning, I'm ready to get it in. I hope that you are ready. What's going on, Sean? So guys, uh, you know, uh, I'm, what's going on, Angela? I'm pumped up. You know, uh, this morning, Juan Escobar, what's going on, my man? Um, this morning, you know, I was watching uh, the recap. Danielle, what's going on? I was watching the recap of uh, the Buccaneers game against Green Bay. And it was Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers. And it was no shock to me. I didn't watch the game yesterday, but it was no shock to me when I woke up this morning to see that Tom Brady is going back to the Super Bowl. This is going to be his 10th Super Bowl. He's 43 years old. What's going on, Joanne? What's going on, Marion? Now, I'm not, a, I'm not a huge football fan. I'm not a huge sports fan, but I am a fan of dominance. I am a fan of individuals that put in the work. I'm a fan of that because time and time again, they prove to us that it's the process. And that's what I wanna to talk to you about this morning. Actually, I wanna to talk to you about three things. What's going on, Keandra? I wanna to talk to you about the process, preparation, and performance. The process, preparation, and performance. And I was, I went to, I went to Tom Brady's um, Instagram this morning, and uh, he had this video of him and Grok up. And none of that's important. I just, I just love uh, the the way Tom Brady how he handles it all. Right, everybody counts him out. Everybody says he's too old. He goes to a brand new team. Right, he goes to a brand new team. They say he's washed up. He's not going to be able to do it. How does he take a team that has not been to the playoffs in 18 years? And in one year, guys, in one year, they're now going to the Super Bowl. It's the same thing, right? It's the same thing that we see with the Kobe Bryants, the Michael Jordans, the LeBron James. How is it that LeBron? goes to Miami, they win championships. He goes back to Cleveland, they win championships. He goes to the Lakers, they win championships. You gotta start saying, there must be something to this. Now, a lot of people, they just try to write it off like maybe it's luck, maybe they're lucky. No, Tom Brady, um, LeBron James, it's not luck, guys. It is the process. And when you start to hear their teammates talk about them, what did you repeatedly hear when you heard people talk about Kobe and Michael, the work ethic? It's the process, right? And inside the process, the goal is the number one thing. Nothing else matters inside the process. So if you really want to dominate, you got to ask yourself, okay, what area do I want to dominate on? Do I want to dominate on my job? Do I want to dominate in my business? Do I want to dominate in my industry? What area do you want to dominate in? And then you got to have the mindset, nothing else matters. That's the process, guys. This is the goal and nothing else matters. This is the goal. It's not, for Tom Brady, it's not, going to the Super Bowl and something else, right? It's not LeBron going to the championship and something else. It's the championship or bust. And that's the type of mentality that you have to have. In this career, in this job, I'm going to be dominant. That's it. That's the only option. In my business, I'm going to be dominant. That's the only option. I don't have no plan B. I don't have no other options. It's to be dominant. Now, that doesn't mean, just like with LeBron and Tom Brady, that doesn't mean that you win all the time. But I want you guys to look at the consistency. This is why I tell people all the time, I don't care where you put me. I'm going to succeed. You can put me in the jungles of Rwanda. I'm going to succeed. I've lived in five different countries. And on five different countries, no matter what I'm doing, I succeed because I understand the process. 
I walk in somewhere with the mindset that whatever I want to accomplish, I'm going to accomplish it. So then inside the process, understanding is the process, the goal, and nothing else. Then it's preparation. It's how you show up, guys. It's how you showing up. Like some people come to practice just because it's mandatory for them to come to practice. But other people are practicing because of the goal. I don't want you guys to miss that. Some people are showing up to work just to get paid. They're not showing up to dominate. Not understanding that you're gonna get paid anyway. See, LeBron, Tom Brady, their salary is their salary. They're going to get paid anywhere. They're not showing up for the salary. The salary is guaranteed. They're not showing up for the salary. You guys gotta understand this. They're not showing up for the salary. They're not showing up for the salary. They're showing up to dominate. They're showing up to be the best that they can be. And so in the preparation, when some people are just showing up to the job just because they need the paycheck, just because they have bills, you know, they say things like, you know, if I didn't have these bills, man, I wouldn't come to this job. If, if I didn't have these bills, man, I wouldn't be working. That's not the mindset you have when you're dominating. That's not the mindset you have. The mindset, man, I'm going to show up regardless, whether they pay me or not, and they're going to pay you. But the mindset of preparation says, man, I'm here to dominate. I'm, I'm not here just to be here. I'm here to dominate. But some people, they just show up to show up. No, you got to show up with the mindset, man, I'm, I'm in preparation mode so I can dominate. I'm in preparation mode so I can dominate. And then the third element is your performance. When the lights are on, when the lights are on, your performance. Let me, let me tell you what I see every time with LeBron and with um, uh, uh, people like Tom Brady and, and Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson. They elevate everybody else around them. Even when they don't have their best game, everybody else has the mindset that we're here to dominate. Look how LeBron and Tom Brady, how they change the culture of the teams that they're on. Not only are they coming to win, but now you start hearing the players talk differently. Tom Brady, even yesterday, once I watched the replay, he didn't have his best game. He threw three interceptions, but guess what? Because he had the defense in the right mindset. We're just not here excited to be in the playoffs. We're not just excited to be in the, the uh, championship, the conference championship game. Man, we're here to go to the Super Bowl and win the Super Bowl. So it elevates. Their performance elevates everybody else. So I'm asking you, does your performance elevate everybody else? You know, I was thinking about this. <clears throat> You know, this space that I'm in right now, I'm just really loving life. I just hit 45 and I was looking at everybody that's connected to me, works with me. And I'm telling you, we winning. We're winning. Like, I'm telling you, we're winning. Like when I look at everybody in my circle, we are winning. We are winning. And I was going back and I was looking at, you know, um, 20 years ago when my little circle, we got together and I was casting this vision. I was casting this vision about what life on an everyday basis was going to look like. I was telling them what the process and I'm talking about for the majority of us coming from single parent homes. Right. Most of us not knowing our fathers. Not coming from the upper echelon of, of society. But I was casting this vision for the whole group. That listen, we're about to not only change our life, but we're about to change generations. And we were just talking about this MLK weekend. We were talking about our kids. We were talking about our kids and how our kids are living and the quality of life that our children have. And we did this in less than a generation time, right? We did this in less than a generation time. And it's because of these three things, guys. The process. We understood the process. We understood that we was coming from the bottom. So we understood that it was going to be hard work. We, we understood that the odds were against us, that the odds weren't in our favor. We understood the process. 
but we were willing to do the work. We were willing to do the work, the preparation. All of us went to college, started getting our education game on, right? We all got degrees. I'm talking about a group of 15 people that started from the bottom. All of them have degrees now, right? All of them are living a life that we could only dream about because of what I'm talking to you guys about. And now, 2021, 2021, let me share this with you and I'll let you guys go on this Monday. Listen, money and opportunity, money and opportunity, money and opportunity. It doesn't leave. It, it doesn't leave. What do I mean it doesn't leave? None of the money, right, leaves the earth. None of the money leaves the earth. When, they, when they're saying we're in a recession, right? When they're saying we're in a pandemic, the money did not leave. The money is not like, oh, the pandemic comes, swoops up all the money, locks the money away. Nobody can have the money. The money's out there. The money's out there. And so this is why you see in the midst of a recession, in the midst of a pandemic, you, you read these reports that, Warren Buffett just earned another $5 billion. You, you, you just, you know, this is why they say the rich get richer, right? The rich get richer. How is that? Because the money doesn't go anywhere. The opportunity doesn't go anywhere. The opportunity is not going, the opportunity is going to be there. Whatever the opportunities are inside of the pandemic, inside of the recession, the opportunities are going to be there. This is why once we, you know, get out of this pandemic, you're still going to see people that say, man, I became a millionaire in the midst of the pandemic. And you're going to be scratching your head like, what? I thought we were in a pandemic. No, the money doesn't go anywhere. The opportunity doesn't go anywhere. It just shifts. Okay, they're not ready for it. So let me shift. Oh, okay, they weren't prepared for it, so let me shift. Okay, they weren't ready for it, let me let me shift. The money doesn't leave the earth. It's no vacuum sucking all the money out. And so 2021, you gotta be in the mindset, like some of you guys showed up to 2021, like I'm about to see what it's gonna be like. Let me see, because 2020 was crazy, 2020 was horrible, let me see. You, you came into 2021 talking about let me see. Let me see if the pandemic is still around. Let me see if they're still talking recession. I came into 2021. It's time to dominate again. It's time to dominate again. So where's the opportunity? Where's the money? Because none of it left. None of it left. The money, all the money that's in the world is still in the world. It didn't go nowhere. It didn't go anywhere. The opportunities didn't go anywhere. But you're showing up like, let me let me see what 2021 talking about. Let me let me see what Biden and Kamala gonna do for us. What? They're gonna do exactly what the other 10 presidents did for you. Nothing. Nothing. And then it'll be another four years. It'll be another four years, and it'll be somebody else vying for your vote and you'll be talking about let me see what they're going to do and then you'll be complaining about Biden didn't do nothing Kamala didn't do nothing how, how, how long are you going to play that game how long are you going to play that game this is what I'm talking about LeBron James he was in the bubble like everybody else he was in the bubble like everybody else Brady had to Brady had to play in the same pandemic as everybody else, every other team, right? How do these people keep on winning over and over and over? How do they keep winning over and over? You got to start looking at the pattern that they're living by. Like every single year, no matter what, they're preparing to win it all. That's their mindset. Like every year, I'm trying to win it all. Brady has been in the league 18 years, been to the Super Bowl 10 times. Every year, he's trying to win it all. LeBron James, been in the league 18 years, been to the finals 9 or 10 times. He's trying to win it every year. Doesn't mean they win it every year, but I like their odds. Every single year, 
I'm trying to win the Super Bowl. Every single year, I'm trying to win the championship. Are you trying to win this year? Are you trying to win this year? Or are you just, you know, I'm, I'm in the league. Maybe we can make it to the first round of the playoffs. For people like LeBron and, and, and Brady, the first round of the playoffs is losing. We're not excited. We don't, we don't hang conference championships up. We don't hang conference banners up. We want the championship. We want the chip. Guys, you got to say, I want the chip. In 2021, I want the chip. I'm winning this year. I'm not seeing what's going to happen. I'm winning this year. If we got to play in a bubble, I'm winning this year. If it looks a little different, I'm still winning this year. If they shorten the season, I'm still winning this year. No matter what life is throwing at you, you have to make up in your mind, I'm winning this year. I'm winning this year. You got to make up in your mind. I'm not waiting to see what the pandemic's going to do. I'm winning this year. Every year, you got to come in like, I'm winning this year. Every single year, that's my mindset, that I'm going to win. No matter what happens, that I'm going to win. I was listening, I was listening to Brady <clears throat> on his interview and he was like, man, just a couple of weeks ago, watch this now. This is how fast this thing can turn around. Just a couple of weeks ago, our record was seven and five. That's what he said. Now, I, I don't follow, I don't follow the Bucks. I don't really follow, you know, but he was saying in this interview, he was saying, man, just a couple of weeks ago, we were seven and five, but we, this is what he said. Just a couple of weeks ago, we were seven and five, but we never lost sight. We never lost sight of our goal. This year, you can't lose sight of the goal. Is there going to be some bad things that happen to you? Maybe, right? Will somebody you love die? Maybe. Will some things not work out like you thought they were going to work out? Maybe. But you can't lose sight of the overall goal. You have to say, no matter what, we win it. No matter what, we win it. That has to be your attitude. No matter what. Tom Brady said, listen, we're seven and five. We had to come back, tighten up some things. We had to come back and tighten up some things. But we never lost sight of the goal. We never lost sight of the goal. And so you got to commit. Like commitment is the biggest opportunity that you have. That's the biggest opportunity that you have because all of us today can decide to commit to winning. That's the biggest opportunity that you have today to say, you know what? I'm committing to winning. And whatever that may look like, man, we may, we may need to trade some players. We may need to move some things around. We may need to shift how we look at the offense. We may need to shift how we're looking at our defense but we're committing to winning. And when you understand the process, guys, man, I'm so, listen, we're almost, listen, January's almost over. January's almost over. Don't be that person like, oh my God, where did the month go? Oh my God, it's already February. Oh my God, it's already March. Oh my God, can you believe it's June? This year's almost over. No, don't be that person, guys. Man, it's 2021. It's 2021. It's 2021. Listen, you got to commit to winning. You got to commit to the process. You got to commit to preparation and you got to commit to your performance. You got to make a commitment to your day. I'm showing up every day. I'm showing up every day. I'm showing up every day. And listen, I'm not talking about you got to go team no sleep and you got to go team, you know, what I'm talking about, if you say, Today is my rest day, then show up for that. Show up 100% for your rest day. If this is your chill day, then give 100% to chilling. Don't give no time to trying to work out. Don't chill a little, work a little. If this is your day to chill, say, boom, I'm giving 100 to chilling. Because tomorrow, when it's time to go to work, I'm committed 100 to working. If it's my day to chill, I'm committed 100 to chilling. But commitment is your biggest opportunity right now. It's your biggest opportunity right now. You deciding to commit. 
you decided to commit, like, you know what, man, I was off my rocker. Let me, let me slap myself. Let me get back in the game. Let me, let me slap myself. When I played football at the collegiate level, my coaches used to always tell me, you got to have a short memory. I played cornerback. And they said, when somebody catches the ball on you or somebody scores on you, you got to have a short, you got to have a short memory because you got to get back out there. You can't be talking about the other play. It's a new play. Today's a new day. You can't be dwelling on that last play. That last play is over. Learn from it. Adjust from it. Move on. I love it. My coach here says, failure to commit is the high cost of low living. That, that's it, guys. That's my coach, so I, I can't say nothing more than that. Failure to commit is the high cost of low living, guys. So on this Monday, don't fail to commit. Commit. Commit to high living. Commit to high living. Commit to you saying, man, things are about to change. Things are about to change. I don't care about this pandemic. I don't, I don't care about no recession. I'm committed to winning. I'm not saying that you, you discard your safety. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is we're not going to use it as an excuse. If you still got health in your body, you still got your right mind, you still got the faculty of your, of your uh, uh, muscles and everything, and you're healthy, then you got to commit. All right, guys, it's Monday. Let's go out there and get it. Let's get it, guys.